Sometimes in React, your state variables actually need a little bit more complex logic to get their initial value. Like we have here, you have this count variable here, it's using your state, and the initial value is set to zero. But we have this get initial count function, which we actually want to use because it has a little bit more logic to get the initial value of the count. Well, the good news is that React actually supports this by default. You can come here and instead of passing a hard coded value, you can actually pass a function. We can pass get initial count and we can call the function to get directly the initial value of the count. This is great and this works. Now here, I actually made a mistake on purpose. If you caught this, let me know in the comments down below. Doing it this way is functional and it will work and it will get you the initial value of the count. But the problem with this is that we're calling this function on every single render of the component. So what React is going to do is every single time that this component is going to be rendered, it is going to call this function and recompute the initial value, even though it's not going to use that value to update the state because it only uses it once to initialize the value of the state. And this is inefficient, right? Because you're calling the function over and over again, but you're not using its result. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is actually quite simple. Instead of calling the function here, remove the parentheses and just pass the reference of this function. What React is going to do is it will handle calling this function once and only once on mount, get the initial value, and then it's never going to call it again. And so you won't have any performance problems.